So start by separating your material from your cat if necessary, and then cut out two identical tombstone shaped pieces as wide as your head and a few inches longer than the top of your head, and you lay those two pieces on top of each other. Then cut out a little curved piece on each side of the tombstone piece at the bottom. This will account for the neck. And then you'll just sew all the way around it, leaving only the bottom open. And because it's nice stretchy material, your head should still be able to fit through the neck hole. So next, put the mask on inside out, and there will be a loose spot somewhere at the top of your head. You'll just want to pull that back tight and take a pin and pin it in place. And then slip it off and enjoy the awesome hairstyle it leaves behind. So once you've got your mask off, carefully remove the pin and you'll just want to hot glue that fold right in place. And then turn the mask right side out and do the same thing on the outside, hot gluing that fold into place. So it should look something like this now. So then put the mask on again. It should be good and tight now. And there you can see where I glued the fold down. So then just take a marker and draw a little dot in each of the center of each of your eyes. And then where each of those little dots are, you just want to take a pair of scissors and cut a little slit where they are so you can see them from the inside of the mask. So then get yourself some fake black leather. And if you made the Spider-Man shirt, you should have plenty left from that. And you just want to cut the eye holes out. They're pretty easy to freehand, but if you want a guide, I do have a template at thewoodlandelf.com slash pattern slash Spider-Man. So you'll cut two of those out of the fake leather, one for each eye. So then flip the eyes over so the back sides are up. And then you'll get yourself some white chiffon material. It's white, but it's also very see-through, so you'll be able to see where you're going when you're wearing the mask. You just want to put a little bit of hot glue around each eye. And then lay a piece of chiffon over it. And you want to be careful of your fingers because this is going to be really hot. The glue kind of seeps through the chiffon. So then just cut the chiffon off around the outside of the eye socket. And then of course do the same thing to the second eye. So then turn your Spider-Man mask inside out. Find the two little slits that you cut. And then you'll take the center of one of the eyes and center it over that slit. Make sure the eyes are facing the wrong way. And then take a marker and trace all the way around the outside of the eye. And then use a pair of scissors to cut out that shape, but cut inside the lines, leaving a space. And this can be where you'll put the hot glue. So the chiffon covered hole should fit right over that. And so then turn the mask right side out and put a little hot glue around the edge of the chiffon side of the eye. And then just glue that in place over the eye hole that you cut out. And then do the same thing to the other side of the mask. And so here it is with both eyes glued on and you should be able to see through the chiffon just fine. So then I put the mask on a foam head so it would be easier to work with. And you just want to take a navy blue fabric marker and draw on all the web lines all the way around the mask. Draw the spokes first, and then the connecting lines. Cover the entire head with the lines. And then this part is optional, but I chose to do um, a bl black puffy paint over all the drawn lines because I like the extra texture, um, just like I did for the shirt. And so then here's the finished mask. And so then here is the mask from the front view, and then here it is around from the back. When you're making it, the thing to remember is that with great fabric comes great responsibility.